Today, let's review episode 11, dealing with the Alexandrians heading to Hilltop, making the Walking Dead universe so much bigger. Right off the bat, I am so glad they didn't turn Rick and Michonne's hookup into some extra drama. I know a lot of shows go that route, and it is just so played out. But no, Rick and Michonne act like normalish adults that got together, and Carl is happy about them being together, which is a huge relief. I didn't want them to have to deal with, oh, well, we shouldn't have, oh, Carl is mad. So thank you, AMC. Thank you. There is definitely something going on with Abraham. He is just way into everyone else's relationships, and we know he's dealing with wanting to be with Sasha, but currently being with Rosita, and focusing more on Abraham having this not knowing what to do and thinking about settling down. I'm assuming that's what they're hinting at. He's asking people about having a baby and settling down and wondering if that's something he could actually do again, especially after his wife has died and his children are gone and maybe he just was hooking up with Rosita because she was there and something to do and take his mind off of the horribleness of what was around him and now he's wondering, well maybe I don't have to do that anymore. These other people are settling down so maybe I can find someone that I'm really compatible with, I'm just not having sex with, that I can settle down with and have kids with. And unfortunately The Walking Dead a lot, there have been exceptions to this of course, a lot of times when they do this where they give character more depth or kind of just more story to him, they then get rid of them or they bite the dust. So now I'm, I'm really worried about Abraham. Of course there are exceptions to that rule, but I don't know, I really feel like they're zoning in on Abraham's gonna die before the end of the season. And I'm really wondering if Abraham losing his necklace slash tag during the fight is hinting at that. Of course, it could also be showing Abraham is moving on from one phase in his life, or Rosita, to the next, settling down with Sasha. Maybe then Eugene can move in on that sweet, sweet Rosita territory. Not that women are territory. Tumblr, please don't come after me. And continuing with the whole family line and settling down, I still think Glenn is absolutely fucked. They have spent way too much time on his happiness, on Maggie's pregnancy, on all his close calls, and coupling all of that with his weird thank you to the fans for being so upset about his death in the beginning of this season. I, I can't get it out of my head that Glenn is he's gonna bite it by the end of the season along with Abraham. There are just too many things hinting at that. There's too much happiness. They were passing around that picture. And I think someone wrote this on Twitter. I think this is where I saw it on Twitter, where someone said, it's like a, a game of, how about everyone look at this picture? Because one of you are not going to see this baby be born or grow up to be an adult. Well, probably most of them at this rate. So back to the main storyline, the Alexandrians head to Hilltop and they put a lot of their heavy hitters in an RV all together to go out on this mission, which was a bold strategy, Cotton, and it actually paid off. My one complaint about Hilltop is a similar complaint I've made about Alexandria, so you probably will get deja vu if you watch my other reviews. But where are all the fucking people? Every time we see a new settlement or community, there's like a handful of people and that's it. Usually Rick's group outnumbers the amount of people we see, or is is pretty close. It just seems ridiculous. You have the settlement, you have these people, there should be more people. For the amount of trailers we saw and, oh, we're expanding and we're having babies, where the hell are all these people? Especially with new people coming and you could hear the commotion, nobody came running out, there wouldn't be more of a crowd. People hear a commotion going on and they're going to look out their windows or be gathering to watch. They may not interfere because the, the bystander effect, you terrible human beings, but you would think that there would be more people watching this or we would see more of the hilltop residents. It's the same thing with Alexandria. And I get that it probably has to do with budget. They can't afford to have tons more extras all the time. So AMC, I am letting you know right now, I volunteer as tribute. I will be an extra for free and you can do anything you want to me. Yeah, anything you want to me. It's AMC. They're not going to get too racy, so 
I volunteer as tribute. I'm more than sure other people will too if this is a budget issue. Get more people in your freaking settlements so it stops looking so weird in like a ghost town. I actually did like how all the hilltop residents carry handmade knives and spears. While someone approaching your community with guns may laugh at a community of knife and spear wielders, spears are still a great weapon to have in the zombie apocalypse. And they never run out of ammo. Which leads me to a random thought. I'm kind of wondering if Shonegan actually restricts them from having guns and ammo, and any guns or ammo they come across, they are required to give it to Shonegan, and that they are only allowed to have these knives and spears, which I think would be a fun twist and kind of add to how they were portraying Shonegan as just this all-controlling, terrorizing guy that just demands stuff and doesn't really do a lot for you in return. Or we haven't learned so far if Shonegan gives them anything in return. They haven't really made it seem like it. The leader of Hilltop was very unlikable and I wanted to punch him in the face, and I thoroughly enjoyed Rick telling Maggie to talk with Gregory, the implication being that Rick would punch the guy out if he had to. And Maggie did a brilliant job, of course, which is why Deanna wanted to groom her for leadership. The scene with Ethan coming back to Hilltop and giving Gregory a message from Negan I think was beautifully done. My top five Rick moments this scene has now been added into when he Rick jumps on the guy, takes him down, stabs him in the neck, is just drenched in his blood, and looks around at everyone else like, what? Just such a Rick moment. So well done. Which is especially great about this is Rick took out one of Hilltop's biggest guys, which sends a message. You don't want to fuck with us. Also enjoyed Michonne knocking the girl down saying don't. Michonne's actress said this was a warning to the Hilltop community. Don't mess with Rick in front of Michonne. And of course this led to Rick and co agreeing to take out Negan and the Saviors and get the Hilltop residents back. And they already said it, this is going to cost us something, but I don't think they know just how much it's going to cost them, and they're, they're very sure of themselves. Okay, we're already going to take 50% of what you had, we're going to take out Negan and the Saviors, and, and they're so sure that they got this, but they don't know Negan for one. They don't know how many men he has. They don't know the equipment they have. They just, they don't know the entire situation. How well defended are the Saviors? Is there settlement? There's all these unknowns, and they're already agreeing to take these people out. I'm thinking, yeah, okay, we're going to pay for it a little bit, but we're going to do this, and then we're going to have a great trade with Hilltop. And I really think that this is going to be a lot more devastating than what they imagined it's going to be, and this is going to be a fantastic... I hope not end to the season. I hope we don't end solving this by the end of the season. I really hope that towards the end of the season we finally see Negan and then they realize wow we are so fucked we had no idea just how big this community was or just how menacing Negan is and honestly I don't know the route they're gonna go with Negan so I can't say that for sure but just from what I know of the show and not even taking the comics into into this it really feels like The Walking Dead is setting up Rick and Co. to have the pride before the fall and just get royally fucked. So that is my review for this episode of The Walking Dead. Make sure you come back every week for a new Walking Dead review while the season airs, of course. Besides that, I should be getting out Comics vs. Show soon. I say that, but I don't know when. Besides that, every week we have Game of Thrones videos, we have Star Wars videos, and comic videos. lot of heavy hitters in that RV. A, a, a lot of their big guys went on that run, which was a, a bold move strategy.